Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are out in the backyard again and we are going to be going over the bee stick minis and the tethered one sticks. Um, I've had this tethered one stick for probably about a month and a half to two months. I want to thank Martin for letting me borrow them and try them out. I've been playing around with these guys on the tree. Uh, the Beast Minis I bought myself and those I've had probably about a month and I've been playing around with these on the trees. We're going to go through the specifications on the table side by side so you can see them. And then we're going to take them out into the woods. I'm going to go to an area where we can try them on a bunch of different sized trees and let you guys see how they actually hold on to the tree, how you attach them to the tree, what your boot clearance is on the tree. So guys, let's get over to the table and look at the specifications. So we're going to do the spec comparison. I've got this sheet right here. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to read that here on the table. If not, I'm going to stick it up here in the upper right hand corner for you also. And if you want a copy of that, I can give you a copy of it. Um, but the let's go through these whole specs from top to bottom. So price to start off with the B sticks are going to run you $95 per stick. This is the one with the holes in it. You can't see it because it is still stripped. I believe it's $85, I think, for the one without the holes. Uh, you can check out their site. I'll put in the description or in the uh, description of the video links to both of these. So again, the B stick is going to cost you $95 per stick. The tethered one stick is going to cost you $119.99 per stick, individual stick. Um, and then if you're going to buy a beast, get three of these beast sticks, you are talking 285. It's basically the 95 times the three. And then if you're going to get the tethered and a three pack, you get that for 329.99. They are both rated for 300 pounds. I think tethered's website said they tested it up to 500 pounds, but they're going with 300 pounds. Um, so weight, um, the beast stick with the strap that it comes with. And I've got this, I have some rope mods that I put on my uh, longer ones. But as far as this is what comes with the sticks besides the stealth stripping. So the bee stick comes with a strap. And that is two pounds with the strap. The tethered one stick is, with the rope on it, is 15.9 ounces. All right, the height, the total height of the stick from top to bottom the B sticks come in at 20 and the tethered one sticks come in at 18.5. Um, step to step distance, so from top of step to top of step on both of these, uh, you are talking on the B stick, you are 18 inches. On the tethered one stick, you are 17 inches. When you get them, um, is there assembly required on the B stick? Yes, you have to put on the steps. You have to put on the antler bracket on the back. You have to put on the beast button. Um, the tethers come all assembled. Stacking height. So if you put three of these guys together on top of each other, because I have three bee sticks, so I just kind of did that little comparison there. Um, if you have three bee sticks together, you are talking from the bottom of the antler bracket all the way up to the top. So from the bottom here to the top of here, we are talking, it is eight inches. The tethers with their stacking pins right here, you stack three of those together, you are only six inches right there. Stacking width from top to bottom, the B sticks basically stack perfectly on top of each other because of the way the brackets are um, designed. So going from top to bottom, I'm going from the bottom post of the bee stick down here all the way to the top of the step is 20 and a half inches. Now the tethers, because they stack on top of each other, um, from top to bottom is still 20 and a half inches. Now you have, if you're going to add the pins that stick out on the bottom right here, then that is going to add about another three quarters of an inch. So if you add this pin on the bottom, you're at 21 and a quarter inches from the very top to the posts at the bottom. All right, so moving parts on these guys. There are no moving parts on either one of these, which is awesome. You don't have to worry about any creaking or anything like that. Um, able to replace the parts. I thought I would throw this in there. Um, if you were to have a problem with the B-stick, 
you could replace this if it broke or if you bent this. You could replace those. Where the tethered, in my opinion, these are glued on. They've got a roll pin in here. Um, also, if the beast button were to break for some reason, you could replace that on the tethered. Um, I would assume they may have a part, but you would have to. It looks like it's riveted in there. Um, so, as far as, I just thought I'd throw that in there as far as being able to replace parts or do work on them yourself. So, step width. So, the beast sticks from outside to outside are 9 inches. And that is from right here to right here is nine inches. The tethered sticks, the step itself, is eight and a half inches is what they have on their site. But I went from this tip right here to the tip over here, and I'm coming up with eight and a quarter from tip to tip. You notice on the B stick, this has got a slight angle, very slight. Uh, where the tethered, it is angled, and then it goes up here at the ends. You can see that on both sides. All right, for attachment method, the bee stick comes with a strap. All right, your basic strap that they've always had with all of theirs. It's basically just the strap, and that strap is only five foot six inches. And that gives you about on this end right here gives you about you know, an inch and a half to be able to pull and tighten it. Where the tethered stick comes with a rope that is eight foot eight inches. But when I've been tying it on the tree, I thought I would you know look at that and kind of figure out how much rope you need to do your crisscross right here. You have to come up down, then do the crisscross, and then you're still gonna have to have probably about an inch and a half to two inches to be able to pull it. Um, when you do that, you're basically taking about 12 inches off of the stick. Or off of the rope, I should say. So you now you're about 7 foot 8 inches. So you still got a big difference between 5 foot 6 and 7 foot 8. Um, the step distance from the tree. When I did this on the tree, I basically went from when it was on the tree. The first reading is from the tree to the outside of the step right here. And on the B stick, that was three and three eighths inches. So when it was sitting on the tree from here to the edge of the step, three and three eighths, where the tethered one stick from there to the edge of the step right here, that one came in at two and five eighths. All right, so what else here we got? And then from the tree to the middle of the step. So from the tree when it was attached, going all the way to the middle of the step right here, I did it on the exact same size tree, you were at three and a half inches. As opposed to on the tethered one, from the tree to the edge of the step, and this step kind of goes out at an angle. So if you're on a smaller tree, you get more boot clearance, but that one was three inches on the exact same tree side by side when I was doing the measurements on it. Trying to hopefully these things are still in the picture for you. And then the materials. The B stick is made out of 661 aluminum and the tethered, the post is made out of titanium. And the standoffs up here are made out of 661 aluminum also. Um, additional items. The bee stick really doesn't have any additional items um, that the tethered one stick has. The tethered one stick has the stacking together pins. So these kind of go right into each other. And I'll kind of show you that at the tree when we're out in the woods. Um, and then they also have glow tabs right here on every step, if you can see that. And this is all standard on their stick. Now on my B stick, I have added glow tabs and these were reflective tape or glow in the dark tape that stay glowing forever it seems. Um, but I've added that to my sticks and it's kind of cool. It really works nice out in the dark. All right guys, so that is it for the specs. So we're gonna take these guys out into the woods and I'm gonna try them on trees for you, show how to attach them. 
and then we're gonna go from there we'll wrap up this video all right hopefully this information is helpful if you want one of these cards I do have it up here and I can also send you a copy of the card if you would like all right guys I will see you out in the woods Hey guys, we are in the woods now. We've got this nice secluded place over at Whitnall Park. We're going to be trying the beast minis on the tree. We're going to be trying the tether one stick on the tree. Um, I brought my chesty to put on my chest so we can uh, I can show you when I'm tying the um, one stick on there. Uh, if I'm not doing it absolutely correctly, let me know. Um, I watched some other guys doing it. Um, well, you can see if I step to the side, we've got some trees that are kind of skinnier right there. And we've got some bigger trees over there. And now we got some trees behind the camera. I'll try them on a couple different trees. See how they attach. See how they hold onto the tree. So guys, let me go get my chesty on, get my hunting boots on, and then we will start putting some of these things on the tree and see how they hold on, okay? Carrying the sticks into the woods. Here are the tethered three of them. Um, they have those pins that lock them together. You can see how they're offset a little bit. But they lock in, you just pull down and it releases. And you can see those little pins right there. And those line up with the holes. I know some people have a hard time getting them in. Um, I haven't found it that difficult, but I could see it possibly being an issue in the dark, especially at night. Um, but that was just putting them together like that right there. I've been playing with them a little while, so you get kind of used to it. Um, like I said, I could see maybe an issue when it's dark outside. Um, that's how they all hold together. The ropes, you could probably individually wrap them. I still haven't really figured out a great way to do that. I'm sure somebody else has one or has a great way of doing it. Because when you look at the clearance in there, you don't really have a lot of clearance in between those to have the ropes going around the tops. But now my bee sticks. How do I carry my bee sticks in? My bee sticks are with my beast rod that I've made. I know that Dan has a rod that he's got also that will also attach your sticks to the stand, the new stand, which I did get the new stand. Um, really nice stand. I'll go over that in a little while on a different video. But so my bee stick, I mean, you've seen my videos. I've done it many times. So basically all I have to do is unscrew this and then I can take off my stick. And we're going to go over to the tree and we're going to pop these babies onto the tree. And we're going to be good to go. All right, so let's go over to the tree. Got the chesty on. We're going to put the uh, GoPro on the chest so you can see how you attach these to the tree. All right, let's go over to the tree. All right, guys, so the tether one stick. We're going to put this baby on the tree. And here is your button. I'm going to hold this with my knee. Then I'm going to throw it around the tree. It's a little bit harder when I'm holding it with my knee just because I'm not as close to the tree. We're going to do the best we can here. Got it on the first try. You want to keep this as horizontal as you can get it. And then you basically just come around. What I've seen people do is just come around and then go up, down, up, and down. And that locks it in there. And then pull out, just like you set every stick that you uh, climb with, pull out the bottom and push down to lock that baby in place. And this baby is solid. And to undo this, all you do is basically pull up, down, over, and you're good to go. Very simple. Here's how we attach the bee stick. You have your strap hooked on. Excuse my knee, I'm gonna hold that to the tree. I'm gonna throw the strap around the tree. Same thing as the rope, you wanna keep it horizontal. Bring your stick around, or your strap around, hook it to the beast button and then just pull your strap nice and tight. I will stealth strip these buckles. If you guys don't know what stealth strips are, you gotta definitely get yourself some that is awesome material. And you just basically pull this tight. And just like with the tethered one stick, always the way you should set your sticks is pull the bottom away from the tree and then push down. And that basically helps you lock it in. The Beast Mini slide down the tree a little bit easier because of those new um, offsets on the back where they've put an angle on there so it slides down a little bit. But once you step on these things, these things are solid. Sorry for the shaking, but these things aren't moving anywhere. So we're going to go catch them a little bit lower 
I'm gonna try them on some different size trees and show you boot clearance now, all right? All right, guys, so now we have showed you how to attach them to the tree, the differences between the rope and their crisscrossing and the straight up buckle. And now we are going to put them on some big trees and then we're gonna go down to smaller trees. The attachment option is still the same, um, but it's gonna show you as far as the boot clearance. On a smaller tree, you should have a little bit more room for your boots. Bigger tree, you're not gonna have as much because you can't put your feet off at an angle. So we're gonna, I'm gonna take the camera down close to the boots because I don't have my beautiful assistant here to record it for me, but I'll have it right down on the steps so you can actually see how much boot clearance there is, all right? So let's go put it on one of the big trees first. This is the beast stick on the first tree we're trying. You can see how much the trunk sticks out on both sides of the step. Bee stick mini on there. So I'm gonna step up here and you'll see my boot on here. As far as when I get up here, what I'm gonna do is kind of show, kind of got a reference with the line on my boot. But this is your clearance with the bee stick minis. With my feet up against the posts and then straight onto the tree. And this is a bigger tree. This is the tethered one stick on the same tree. And here is the tethered one stick. Yeah, you can definitely feel when you got it up against the post, you are really on your tippy toes on here. And you definitely can feel that little rise through your boot, that little rise on the end. But yeah, it's, um, you can definitely feel the difference between the two. But that's the big tree. Let's go try it on some small trees. All right, this is the next size tree. This is the Beast Mini. And you can see that distance there. And here is the tether one stick. You still feel like you're really on your tippy toes with this. Guess you can put your feet out here to the side. You can do that with bow sticks. But when you do that, you can definitely feel this raise or this rise right here on that stick. All right, let's go try it on a real small tree. So guys, this is the tree we're trying it next on. You can see how the steps stick out probably almost two inches, two and a half inches on each side of these tree. Could you hunt out of this tree? Possibly, definitely for hanging uh, trail cams. I like to use these smaller trees sometimes. But let's see how our feet look on this. All right, guys, real small tree. You can see how your boots, now you're to the point where your boots can start hanging off the side of the tree. So you've definitely got really good traction on here. And on this small tree, I'm going to show you what's biting in. If you look on here, you've got two teeth on each side digging in on top and on bottom, two teeth digging in. Well, one on this side, this one's not touching, but this thing is solid to the tree. You're not going anywhere. All right, let's try the tethered one stick. All right, guys, tethered one stick on the same size tree. Very solid. 
But I will tell you, with these boots on, if you have some of these, you know that they're really not a real firm bottom. I mean, they've got good treads on them, but you can definitely feel where this thing rises. You can definitely feel where this rises on the end. And you can see on this, as far as teeth, you got two teeth that have grabbed in there. And you got two teeth that have grabbed in there. And it's got two teeth in there. And it's got two teeth that have grabbed right there. Hey guys, hopefully that was helpful for you. We went through the specs back at the house. Uh, kind of gave you everything from the price to all the different measurements. Um, but um, out here in the woods, we tried it on three different sized trees, a real big one, uh, then a medium, and then a real small one. And I know somebody will comment that, you know, basically the center of the stick is going to be the same from the tree and the teeth. It's just you can see how the boot sits on there. I will tell you, I've been, we're using the... Um, these sticks for probably about two and a half to three years. They have never failed me yet. Um, they have this little offset here that goes up a little bit. That's in case you're putting it on a tree that isn't perfectly straight and you have to set your stick off at an angle. You'll have still a flat horizontal surface to stand on. Um, on the new B-Stick Minis, when you saw me put this together, you have this angle right here. Um, I personally myself like the old one, the old bracket, because if you set it properly and you pulled away the bottom from the tree and you pulled down, you kind of created that angle yourself. And then when you stepped on it, that last little quarter inch, it really bit into the tree tough to the point where when you took off the uh, straps, the stick was still stuck on the tree and it was kind of hard to get off the tree. These, you take off the strap, you barely tap it on the bottom and it does pop loose, um, but they are awesome sticks. No moving parts, just like the Tether One Stick. No moving parts. Um, I haven't had as much experience with these for years like I had the B-Sticks, but I thoroughly enjoyed playing around with this and I wanna thank Martin again for letting me try it. I'm gonna give these back to Martin and I'm gonna give him my B-Stick Minis for him to play around with. Um, I do like the locking together system. That is really nice. Um, I like the glow tabs that they put on there. I did put that on my B-Sticks. Um, the one thing, and this is just my personal feelings, the one thing I did not like is this part right here. Because I hunt about 80% of the time, I hunt out of my muck boots, and you can definitely feel this when you're stepping on it. Um, I don't know anybody's foot that is this wide to avoid that. So you are going to be on this little post right there. Uh, if you've got like hunting boots on as far as not mucks, uh, like a really hard soled one, you may not feel it as much. It may just bridge across there. But with the mucks, you can really feel that little tip right there. But other than that, half of the weight of a bee stick uh, only came in at one pound, just under one pound. Uh, these were stealth stripped when Martin got them. But Hopefully that helped you out, guys. I will see you on the next video. Thanks for taking the time to watch this one, and see you later. Bye-bye.